Ink Ribbon. So every now and then I like to go on itch and just see what kind of indie games are being made and there's some really really cool stuff that people make and one of the things I came across was a game called Beetlebum or Resident Weevil as the subtitle is and I was like wait what is this and from what I see it looks like a Resident Evil game where you play as a roach or a beetle. Um, that's what we're doing today so let's Let's do this. <laughs> Game is best on controller. I got Old Faithful right here, ready to go. Alright, what are the controls? Tank control, sprint, quick turn, aim, reload. Okay. Okay. Alright, let's, let's do this on a long night drive through the countryside. You fell asleep at the wheel. You awake to find yourself in an unfamiliar location, as well as in an unfamiliar body. You must escape. <gasps> so mysterious. Oh my god, this is so cool. The bed I woke up in, it was very uncomfortable. It's a chest of drawers. Every drawer is glued shut. Oh my god, this is so cool. I'm a beetle, y'all. Hey. What's up with this clock? Can I do anything? A clock without a face? Better leave it be. Okay. Oh. Chef's kiss right there. Gotta love those old school Resident Evil door animations. Maintenance access. Hi, bud. Whoa! Oh, God. Ooh. Oh, my God, he gets a gun. <laughs> I can't pick up the ammo. I'm really trying to pick up the ammo, but I can't. How do I... I forgot how to check my inventory. Oh no. Um, I, okay, I, <laughs> I don't know how to check my inventory. speed run timer nice um oh cool oh r2 is to aim okay they don't die they don't die guys i think they don't die take that Is it dead? I am turning. Wait, so people turn into bugs instead of zombies? Huh? Oh, it's locked. That's kind of cool. Oh, shit. <laughs> Um, how do I reload? There we go. Okay. Oh no, I died. Okay. Unfortunately, it seems as though you have died. Pick yourself up and give it another go. Let's do it. All right, let's try this again. I got it now, and I, I, I got it. What? All right. We got him that time. We can get this key. Picked up first floor key. 
This is also a really good uh, learning experience because I want to learn how to do pre-rendered backgrounds. I'm kind of working on PS1 style Resident Evil game dev stuff right now, but it's not quite ready to show. Um, my Patreon's got a little sneak peek and I did post a little screenshot on Twitter if you want to check it out. I should probably put it on YouTube too, but... Um, for those who don't know, making inventory systems and, and weapon systems is really, really complicated. Like, I didn't, I, I, I did not know what I was in for. So, um, yeah. Um, oh, I wonder if this key opens this door over here. It does not. Okay. go back upstairs this is so cute well I don't know if these are like human sized bugs or if this is a really tiny mansion which I'm hoping it's a tiny mansion because that's just adorable like a little baby Resident Evil mansion where bugs are running around you know we need a, a banana for scale all right we need a fuse to use the elevator Well, see, is this a giant clock or a regular sized clock? We need answers. Ooh. Oh my god, the bug has mushrooms on it. It's cordyceps. That's cool. So they are zombies. Oh my god. I get it. It's basically like The Last of Us but with bugs, which is what The Last of Us was based off of. It's a real thing that happens to insects in nature. There's this, like, fungus called cordyceps that infects them and basically eats them from the inside until they literally just become infested with fungus and die. It's actually really horrible, but uh, also weirdly fascinating. Oh, shit. Reload, reload. Ooh. Office key. I bet this opens that door. This is so cool. Penis access. Were there any of the rooms over here, or is this just the bedroom? Okay. Alright, there's only one locked door. Reload, reload. I can't remember what game that's from. I remember there was a game, like, back in the day. I think it was Area 51, like the arcade shooter. Reload, reload. Yep, that was it. Whoa! Oh no, I died again. All right. One more time. I just love that uh, it's, it's a beetle. Like what? You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, this is where I died. Let's try not to do it this time. Mm -mm. All right, reload. Oh, I'm out of ammo. All right, we're gonna run in and get it and run out. I don't even know what I'm getting. I got a switch. I don't know what the switch is for, but I got it. And it's mine. No one else can have it but me. Fuse. Reload. 
reload. Okay. I think I got everything I need for the elevator. now it seems like that's all the time we have oh come on we hope to see you again soon wow okay well first of all i'm definitely gonna follow you on twitter uh menacing mecca all right well i just followed you um so this is Callum McKay, who did the code art and level design, and James Rogers did the music and sound design. Beautiful. You guys did a great job. I love this. I would love to see more from one developer to another. I think there's so much fun you could have with the whole being small insects thing. Instead of making environments that look like they could be like, you know, human sized environments, I would I would make them small things where like, um, I don't know, like a, a a soda can is like huge and it's an obstacle you have to get around you know there's a lot of stuff you can do with that um weapons could be like you know like using a matchstick to like hit things and also if you're a Godot developer who's interested um oh they've got short ps1 style adventure game Ooh, see this is why i love to go on itch like all this stuff looks so cool and i want to play it all so i add it all to like my play later list but they also released a uh, first-person character controller demo, an N64 shader, and a PlayStation 1 shader. So if you want to make some retro games and and do that kind of development, go for it. And ah, that was refreshing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. That's all I'm going to do for today. Uh, that was awesome. I got to play Resident Evil as a bug. And uh, I encourage you guys to check it out. I will put the link to it in the description. It's free, but feel free to donate to the developers as well um, if you want to support the development of this. And if you're the developer who happens to watch this, thank you for making this, and I hope to see more from you. Until next time, I'm Kai Morgan, and as always, thanks for watching Ink Ribbon.